This video helps describe the conditional expectation function, or CEF. So here's a simple example of conditional distributions. X will be represented by this coin where heads equals 1 and tails equals 0. Now in X equals 0, the conditional distribution of y is there are these six possible values, each with equal probability, one-sixth probability. If instead uh, x equals 1, then these are the six possible values of y, again with equal probability. So in other words, we can roll the die and then just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever it is to pick out the value. Um, in this particular case, we also know x has approximately a one-half probability of being equal to 1, uh, but that is actually not at all relevant for the conditional expectation function. So the CEF is a function that maps a value of x, such as 0 or 1, into a single value in the units of y. Specifically, if we think about, again, x equals 0, the value of the CEF evaluated at 0 is the mean of the conditional distribution of y. So in this case, uh, since I made the numbers very nice, the mean is 7.5. So the CEF, that function evaluated at 0, is 7.5. Similarly, if we evaluate the CEF at 1, the mean over here, again, very nice numbers, is 4.5. So we have a function, just like any other function you studied in high school, where that function evaluated at 0 is 7.5, and, and the function evaluated at 1 is 4.5. So there's nothing random about the CEF. It's a way to summarize the conditional distributions with just a single non-random number, in the same way that the unconditional mean of the distribution of y is a single non-random number. Here we're just getting a separate mean for each different value of x. Now, we could also write something that is random. If we write the expected value of y given capital X, where again capital X indicates a random variable. In that case, we're not evaluating the CEF at a single non-random value. We're evaluating it at a random value uh, according to the random variable x. So in this case, where we just have a coin flip for x for 0 or 1, there would be a one-half probability that x is 0, one-half probability that x is 1, which would mean the expected value of y given capital X has a one-half probability of value 7.5 and a one-half probability of value 4.5.